Let's get to today's shortcut challenge. First, I would like to introduce you to your guest judge, Mulai Yakobe. He trained under the late John Sahag, where he mastered Sahag's famed dry cutting technique. Mulai, apprentice under John Sahag, God rest his soul, one of the best hairdressers that ever lived. A graduate of and you must cut and style the hair while it is completely dry. So keep in mind when you're cutting that your finished look must be straight. <laughs> All right, Janine. Hi. Can you tell me what are you doing? I gave her, really cut her clean around the perimeter to establish a weight line okay. and a base and then I'm just graduating it up from there. So why do you like the dry cutting? Because you can see what you're doing as you're going. Right? Yeah. There's no surprises when you try. I mean, a little... Once you're done. Yeah. I'm kind of looking for a longer, sexier, right below the collarbone, graduated. So I'm just going in, I'm diving in, I'm getting a... This is sort of my... <laughs> Hi, Brick. How are you? It's such a pleasure to meet you. Nice oh. to meet you. We're going for a 1940s meets 2009 graduated bob. She's going to be styling it herself at home as well. And I didn't want a lot of volume this way. When she wore it curly, I want her to have more shape towards the front and a little bit tighter in the back. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. See? Wow. Mm -hmm. I promised him a ring. If he gets it right, this is yours. Think about it. Can I, what the, I'm going to have to use it as a cock ring. Use it whatever you want to use in my different. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Give me something like a coming next. Don't make it more challenging. If you need to stop, just stop. You are all into it. Oh, I have time. <laughs> if I have time, I'm going to try and make sure Go it's perfect. It. Yeah. And after you're done with your drawing. No, I'm going to put, I'm going to sit. The overall look is fantastic. You give her such an amazing look. Beautiful with the bangs. You just nailed it. On the right side, one of the section, you left it uneven. But overall, I love it. Janine? I think you look just fantastic. The right side is a little bit heavy, so make sure when you texturize in your head, you texturize the whole head. Overall, perfect. We gave you someone with the long hair. You should have, have created something more beautiful than this and it was no graduation at all. It's very short for the client and a lot of uneven sections. You kept cutting and cutting and cutting and you give her that. Come on over, Brian. First off, I cut her hair at zero degree on the bottom in the back and I brought it around at a 45 degree angle and I lifted it and... Loves the sound of his own voice. So 90 degrees is like this. So 45 degrees is half of that. So that's roughly the angle we're looking for. Stop talking. From the ear okay. forward. This, it has to be graduated all the way here. You didn't do that. You have graduation here, nothing here. Amy? A beautiful cut. But you spend a lot of time coloring your hair that doesn't need to be colored in the first place. I think it's still heavy, like you should go back and texturize it more. April. Camilla told you in the beginning to all of you guys, make it straight. You choose to give me this style. But that's not what you were asked to do. I see like a lot of holes in the back, especially underneath. Does it have to be holes? I don't think so. It has to be texturized, but it has to be like an even cut, correct? Not for me, but yeah, for you, that's cool. I respect you. That's not the point. The point is, give us slick a graduated bob. That's my graduated bob, so I fail. To you, I fail. They're ugly as sh to me. Looks like someone took an axe and just forgot to chop the rest of the head off. I prefer the weight here and not like here and flat. She's like a powder keg. It'll come out of nowhere, she'll like raw. You don't like it, it's all good. Can I ask you a very simple question? Yes. A client comes to your salon. Yeah. And she said, I want a slick bob, I'd right? say go to Bidel Sassoon. Period. Period. On, you're next. 
I like it very much. I see like I love those bangs, like it really like uh, it softened her eyes. In the back, it's so uneven. I know, so I shouldn't have colored her hair. I should have just stuck to the cut. Yeah. Malai, have you made a decision? Yes, I have. The two stylists that I was least impressed with were Brick and April. April, your graduated bob had a lot of holes. Brick, you lost your haircut when you kept cutting and it was a disaster. Okay, so who are the top two? The two people that impressed me the most are Mr. Matthew and Janine. Matthew, my friend, I loved your dry cut technique and you made your uh, model beautiful. Janine, I really liked how you finished her, how you styled her. The whole thing was just amazing. Thank you. So, do we have a winner? Yes, we do have a, I, I picked Janine, big time. Yeah. I couldn't be more excited, because this is something that I really do pride myself in, is dry cutting. I'm like, see, I can do a graduated bob, I told you. Janine, as the winner of today's shortcut challenge, you have first pick of models in the next elimination challenge.